mimi atutapigana na wewe The new modern Karatina open-air market that is considered to be the largest of its kind in East Africa is to be completed in May. However, the project that was expected to take two years since it began in 2010 will be completed in seven years. Our reporter Raquel Mwigai now joins us live from Karatina. Raquel, the construction was to take two years. It's now been seven years. What caused the delay? Well, Ashley, it has been seven years for this uh, particular construction to be com put, that will take uh, this construction to be completed, given the set of p problems that have been there since the the building, the construction was co commissioned in 2010 by the then President uh, Mwai Kibaki and the then Madeira MP Ephraim Maina. At that particular point when the construction began, what happened was that there was a misunderstanding between the contractor that had been given the assignment to complete the project at that particular time. That was the Uchumi International Limited that was set to complete the building. However, due to the misunderstanding that came at that particular point, the project was stalled for six years. But during that particular time, remember that the onset of devolution began in 2012. Therefore, that also presented a problem for this particular project, given that at when, while it was being commissioned in 2010, it was under the national, go national government, but now with the onset of devolution, there was also the county government in place, and therefore the project was not clear on who was going to undertake that particular project. But it led to the traders here taking to the streets, demanding answers to just get to understand who exactly is going to oversee the project. And an amicable solution was found that the national government will be able to, uh, to fund the project, but the county government will get to, under, uh, to get to oversee as well as just get to make sure that this particular, um, this particular project has been completed as it should be and the traders will be given that particular space but as it was being as it being constructed as it was being constructed the traders the traders were moved from that particular point to this point where i'm standing at and it has been uh, seven years of uh, probably what the traders here describe as torture given that the business has not been usual and i just want to get a few remarks from the traders themselves as they get to tell us exactly what it has been for them here at this particular market um, thank you so much for joining us here at KTN. Tafadhali tueleze jina lako alafu pia ukatueleza pia um, hali ya shughuli imekuwaje ama kumekuwa na changamoto ukilinganisha ulipokuwa na hapa sasa. Haya majina yangu ni Mama Karoe na mimi ni mzaji wa hapa kwa hii soko. Na ni soko yenye tunafurahia sana. Lakini kwa sasa toka tuko tutoke kwa ile soko ingine, hakuja kuwa na mwelekeo mzuri wa biashara. Eh shinda zimekuwa zikukumba hapa na pare. Saa zingine customer hakuna. Hatujui customer rienda wapi. Sana sana kwanza kukinyesha. Iyo diyo chagamoto hile kubwa sana. Sisi kama huna gambu tuwezi ingia kwa hii soko. Na vile vile tu kwa, 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 kwa wenye kuja kununua. Kama hana gambu uta waingi. Saa tunakaa tu hivo. Tena magojwa tunaona kama tunakohanga sana 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 kabisa. E. Labda tu kitueleza pia mapato ya hapa ukiwa hapa biashara imekuwaje ukilinganisha pia na pale hapo mbeleni hatuwezi linganisha hapo mbeleni ya hapa imekuwa chini kabisa eh imekuwa chini vile tu customer hawako hawako kwa wingi eh asante sana uh, labda ningepata tu mwingine atueleze pia changamoto imekuwa ni zipi na pia um, changamoto imekuwa ni gani tafadhali tueleze uh, kwa majina naitwa Madha nilikuja hapa 2013 Na kama tuseme kukinyesha, huku na kuanga na shida mingi sana, sababu matope huku wa mingi. Kuna hawa watu wakuleta wa mizigo huku. Hawana pali pa kupitia, tutapitia tuji ya moja na wao. So vile tu, hizo mkokoteni zinapita, zinaacha matope, nini, magambu. Alafu tena, kama vile wamepanga madizi pale, kuna hizo manini za madizi. Zinajia matope, sasa hizo alafu tena kanjo wakikosa kuokota. Kuna rufu inakuja, watu wana, wana gonjeka, kuna ingine hata wamekufia kwa hii soko, jua hizo arufu. Um, pingine pia ungetueleza um, maombi yako ingekuwa ni, ni gani? Sasa maombi yangu ni juu, last year uhuru alikuja kasema ni ya project itakuwa ya national government. Sasa sisi tunamuomba tumalizi hiyo soko, do tuende at least tuweze kuenda kwa ile soko nyingine 
na pia unajua tukiwa huku hakuna si watu wengi wanajua hii soko hapa lilikuja wale watu wengi walikuwa wanajua tu ile soko mzee sasa hapa acha wale customer tu wa within ni wao tu wanakujaga kununua hapa hakuna watu wengine wanatokanga na huko nje asante sana um Actually, that is the feel of this market. But just to get to show you around how what exactly this trade is around are going, where I'm standing at this particular point, it happens to be a very safe place at this point. But during the rainy seasons, this place can actually, it's not possible due to the mud that fills this place. Uh, we also just get to see and look at the dirt that is within this area. The traders maintain that no... Uh, great sanitation has been done no waste management is being done uh, at all and therefore it's been difficult for them owing to the fact that the health conditions is also being affected and even when customers come here it cannot be easy for them to be able to just get to reach this place and get to buy the goods and therefore business has not been the same but during my visit that was yesterday to the new construction that to the new construction site the place looks okay and it's 90 percent 90 percent done and finishing touches that are being done and therefore the contractor said that it will be it will be completed in may and the traders will be able to get to have a feel of the 